Hello, I'm Edward and welcome to WindowsReport.com. In this video, I will show you how to fix the Service Control Manager error 7000. Many Windows 10 users claim that the Event ID 7000 error stops software services from starting. This can be quite problematic as certain services are crucial for the normal functioning of the operating system and the causes for this error can stem from incorrect settings to multiple instances of problematic services. Fortunately, there are a few solutions, so let's take a look at how to fix this issue in no time. For a more detailed explanation and even more solutions, please check the article in the description below. The first solution is checking the event viewer log. To do that, just click the start button in the lower left corner and simply type event viewer. Then click on event viewer. In the following window, just click on Windows logs to expand the list of log categories. Then select the system log to open a list of logs. Then you have to sort the event ID by clicking the event ID column header. Then you have to click one of the event ID 7000 errors to open further details for it, because you need to ascertain what service hasn't started. You have to note that the exact log details can vary slightly, but nevertheless they will tell you that the specified service did not start, so note down the specified service. Another great solution is restarting the service. To do that just click the start button in the lower left corner and simply type services. Then click on the services app. Then in the following window you have to scroll to the service that didn't start. Double click the service to open its properties window. Firstly click the startup type drop down menu and select automatic from there if the service is currently disabled. Then press the start button to restart the service and then click apply and ok to save changes. You can also adjust the service login settings. In the same services window just double click the service included in the event ID 7000 log and then in the properties window just select the log on tab. Afterwards click on this account radio button option, input your user account name in the first blank text box and then enter your user account password in the other text boxes. Then press apply and ok buttons. Now you have to restart your desktop or laptop and then if the service is already configured with the this account setting selected, select the local system account options on the logon tab instead. Then click OK, right click the service and select restart. And another great solution is using the group policy editor. To do that just click the start button in the lower left corner and simply type run, then click on run. In the run window just type in the following command and press enter or ok. gpedit.msc Then in the group policy editor window you need to navigate to the following location. Next right click log on as surface on the right of the group policy editor window and select properties on the context menu. Then you can click add user to add a new user to the policy and then click OK a couple of times to close the group policy editor. For more information and details, please check the article in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.